Numerical Computation, Chapter 9, Video 12. This is an exciting video where we look at our first multi-step method, which combines the implicit and the absolute explicit method in a pretty smart way. So this is a famous second order ABM, Adam Bashful Moulton method. It's widely used by engineers, very popular. Okay, so the method goes as follows. Given the information at step xn, xn minus 1, and you compute fn and fn minus 1, I would compute using the explicit second order Adam Bashful method to kind of a predict the value of x and f at n plus 1. So this is a prediction, but it's not my final value. Okay, so recall the method for x. It's like this. If you go back and check our previous video, that's the second order AB method. And then after obtaining the x n plus 1 star, my prediction, I do this function evaluation to have a prediction of the f value. Then we know our critic says you are doing extrapolation, there's too much error, can you do something about that error? And that's what we're going to do next. So next we'll follow the implicit Adam Bashful solution with k equals to zero, the second order version, and we would use the value we predicted here in the predictor step as the value to evaluate the um, f at n plus 1. Okay, so this gives me a method to compute x at n plus 1 is the xn plus the trapezoid rule here, so half h f at n plus 1 plus f at n. Once I have computed this, then I do a function evaluation there to get the f value at n plus 1. So you see, this multi-step method follows a clear pattern of a predictor step right here, predicting what will happen in the future, and realize there's some error, and then it goes through a corrector step to make the error smaller. Okay, so it's a predictor, corrector, two-step method. Okay, so um, I thought it was quite cool, don't you think? Now we um, show some numerical simulations of this method, and in particular, we will compare this to the um, explicit Adam Bashful method to see the difference the corrector step makes. And then after we solved both, and um, we can compare them to the exact solution which we know and see the reduction in error. Okay. So we remark that. Both methods are formally second order. Okay, next we're going to show the arrows plotted. So here's the plot of the arrow, and we see that um, in this plot, the red circles here are the arrow using the explicit AB method, and the blue um, X marks are the Adam Bashful second order method. So you see, without applying the corrector step, we get a much bigger error than the correction step. So the correction step actually does reduce the error by quite a bit. Okay, so formally both methods are second order, meaning the error approximately equals to a constant times h squared. The difference here is that with the Adam Bashful method, that constant is pretty much bigger than the constant here in the Adam Bashful motor method. So hope you are convinced that the corrector step is useful and plays an important role. And next time we will go into systems. Hope you enjoy this and see you next time.